you will not believe what I just found for £10. A Herman Miller Sal, however you say it. £10 for a Herman Miller chair. That is absolutely ridiculous. You can see there, Jersey Hospice Care. That is the charity shop that I bought this from. £10. Now, it has some horrible looking stains on it. It also has a slightly broken armrest, but £10. You can see just how dirty it is. It's really, really gross. It has stains all over it, underneath and everything. Obviously, the, the actual cushion as well needs some serious work. Um, I've ordered some replacement armrests. It's got some horribly grubby bits underneath the hand part where someone's definitely touched it. I reckon this is probably from an office which has had a clear out and they've just gotten rid of it and updated their chairs. But you can see at the bottom here, this is a Herman Miller style chair. And if you don't know what a Herman Miller chair is, they cost about $500. So the fact that I managed to get it for £10, which is roughly about $12, is ridiculous. So let's give this thing a thorough clean and see how it comes out. So I started off by unscrewing as much as possible. I didn't know what I was doing, I just knew I wanted to strip it down as much as I could. This chair was designed by a bloke called Eve Behar, and the chair dates back on the website as far as 2010. To get this for £10 is honestly an absolute steal and I'm super glad to be able to give it another life. The rubber mesh back is gorgeous in my opinion, but it is a sucker for catching dust. The rugged sandblast plastic finish makes this chair feel super high quality, but will also trap dirt if not wiped down once or twice a year. So just to give you a little bit of an update of what I've done, this is a very tricky thing to film. There's a small lock bar. I've managed to find the instructions to disassemble this online. This is called a lock bar, and this part is situated right here. You can see it like that, and it clips in. What you've got to do is take a screwdriver or a flathead object or whatever you can find, and sort of just shove it in there and push backwards slightly and you can lift up the latches on both sides like that. And then what you do is you slide the chair back like that all the way to the back and then you can lift the whole thing off and then it comes off. So now we can get under here and give all of this a clean because all of this is really dirty. I finally figured out how to take the back off which was good as it needed a shower. I had some seat cleaner from my car, which sprays out of foam and then you use the brush end to clean the fabric. The Magic Eraser was a must have in this refurb. It tackled everything I threw at it and honestly made this chair look brand new. I finally took the really dirty bits outside and sprayed and cleaned them with hot water and a brush. Then it was reassembly time. I swapped over my wheels from my other chair, which I'll be selling now that I have this, and it all went back together like a treat.
and that is it. The chair is finished. I'm so happy with how this thing has turned out. I can't wait for the two new arm pads to arrive, but for now, this thing is pretty damn sweet. And the knowledge that I only paid 10 pounds for it is mental. I've ordered the arm pads in a sort of a light gray, so it should match them. I'm not overly fond of the dark burgundy color that the previous ones were, so I'm very happy with this one. I absolutely love the design. And to be honest with you, it's kind of growing on me, the color scheme a little bit. It's kind of a bit retro, which is obviously quite on brand for me. The levers and stuff on the bottom were a little bit tricky to figure out, but I figured them all out now and they're absolutely fantastic. This thing is a very advanced chair, so I'm super, super pleased with it for £10. Let me know what you guys think in the comments section down below. I'll post an update uh, once I get the two new arm pads on my Twitter, so be sure to follow me on there. That is going to wrap it up for this video. The chair is spotlessly clean now, honestly, and the, this cushion smells fantastic. I hope you've all enjoyed. I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.